All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a fresh episode of Mega Aquarium. Um, my friends, we're going to try to really push on today. I obviously put last episode out, and when I was watching it back, I couldn't believe what an absolute horror show that one ended up becoming. Um, just loads of stuff was happening, wasn't it? I'm actually considering um, getting rid of the work zones um, in the Aquarium, and I might do that in today's episode. Um, I basically was road testing this last uh, after last episode, and it does appear as though that's really affected things so I might get rid of the work zones I don't know they just don't seem to be working for me uh, but yeah if you've missed last episode it is linked above a folio writer now we kind of got this little area done down here we continued on with the research we have leveled up to level 8 but um, yeah do feel free to go and watch it my friends if you've not yet done so but yeah let's crack on we have a brand new episode and try to push forward shall we um, I really want to try to get this uh, tank sorted out I really want to try and get this sorted out and I'll really want to try and get all of the efficiency um, cracking in the uh, in the aquarium so first things first I am going to just take a look at these uh, work zones now I think this is the big problem um, this work zone uh, this isn't in that work zone and that's what we need to do so work zone 7 let's see if we can just extend work zone 7 we can lovely lovely job let's just extend work zone seven just to cover that stuff um for now um this isn't in a work zone though which is a concern so we're just going to stick this in work zone in work zone seven along with this tank i think they're in work zone nine so they should be fine the toilets as we know don't seem to work in work zones uh nine just going to fill this little gap in here uh, for work zone at nine. Um, and then we've got this little piece here, which is the fresh water. And we're just going to fill this in just so that space is covered. Um, but yeah, I don't really feel like we need to do much more. So yeah, let's come out of that. Um, we'll see how that cracks on, how that works. And then um, if it doesn't appear to be working, We'll give up on that and we'll move forward without the work zones. But uh, yeah, what we really need to be doing is this tank, this tank. We need to be getting it all sort of efficiento and uh, sorted out. Um, I do sort of need to look at staff levels, actually. I think that's going to be the first thing that I do. Let's go on to this. Uh, so we have got a few members of staff that don't have anything assigned. And they just are going to um, go around the whole of the aquarium. And I think I might hire a couple more. Um, to do this um, we'll have a look at their roles that we've set them in a moment uh, we've got this we've got five there five there we've got six uh, in zone seven which is this one isn't it um, so we've got feeding uh, fixing probably fixing feeding feeding we could do with a cleaner probably in that um, and then in these zones they are they do a bit of everything so yeah that's fine um, okay so what I am gonna do um, I'm gonna hire a few members of staff to do a bit of everything I think uh, to not sit inside a work zone and they can just do a bit of everything uh, like I say so let's find people that um, have a lot to their bow so people like this who can do a lot of stuff and are actually very good um, when it comes to uh, upgrading them so let's hire Ethan um, okay pick our next bit of re right so we are all researched up on level 7 so now we can really start cracking on with um, with the next level, level 9. Uh, I'm going to do the Regal Tang to start with because we've got our Clownfish Tank and I think they would be a nice addition to that. Um, feeding, talking, cleaning, gift shop. Um, okay, we'll hire you as well so you can do a bit of everything. And I think we'll maybe hire one more if there's anyone available. Um, uh, there we go. Gift shop talk. Mm, there we go higher all right that's nice so if we were to look at this now all these people are doing a bit of everything um, all around and then we've got these people who obviously have uh, certain jobs 
Now, one of the things we can do, hopefully today, is uh, get the tool belt um, done for a couple of our fixers. Um, talking of fixers, let's upgrade Kate to level three. Peter, let's upgrade you. Um, you're obviously maybe one of the talkers, but let's upgrade your feeding. The convict stuff we can get rid of. Uh, we've actually got a blue and yellow grouper for Sal. Um, dislikes cannot be housed with blue and yellow, oh, so you can only have one of them. Ten to twenty-four, one to nine. I was thinking it would have been nice to put that in the grouper tank, but I think they're going to be too small because we actually have this tank, don't we? With groupers in, uh, your size nine. Yeah, he would. He would be a bit of a problem uh, in there. How big are these guys? They are a size eight, um, and they don't get any bigger. I don't think. Okay. Uh, right, we won't be able to put you in there either. Got a few problem species, that does have to be said. Um, maybe in there? 16. And 16. He could probably go in that tank there. Um, how big is that starfish? He's a size 8, but it didn't say anything about starfish, did it? So... Just animals and crustaceans. Do you know what? It's a deal. They're going to give us two. Um, and we will put him in there. And he, he can be another he can be another one of those uh, guys who becomes a bit of a specimen. Uh, he does need a cave. So let's sort that out. Um, put the cave in there. Like so. And slowly that is uh, starting to look really nice actually that aquarium very very slowly now one thing I do want to try and get around to today is a bit of theming but um, obviously we've got jobs to do that we didn't get done last time um, we we'll do the fixing now and they're being eaten now because there's obviously too many in there so that's just gonna be something that happened I think um, the heat is dropping Probably because these are being fixed over here. Um, okay, right, so the first things first is I want to do the tool belt uh, in today's episode. Um, tool belt, so we put one there. Um, we will put one over here we can pick our next research the balloons are done We're, I'm gonna work through the rank 7 stuff first um, let's do the coffee machine that might be a nice addition actually um, one there one there we can put one over here um, and then I'm gonna put one down here because what I was actually thinking is we should have a toolbox in here, really. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, I, I was all over the place last episode. I do apologise if you thought that was a bit of a messy episode. But loads of stuff just kept happening during the course of it. And um, I just couldn't keep up. But uh, yeah, today is really about... big big bit of today's episode is staff management. Um, it has to be. Um, so we're going to give you a tool belt. Um, we're going to give you a tool belt. I think there's four available, aren't there? Uh, you're going to get one. Yep. And then we want someone who is in one of these zones. There we go. We're going to get you a tool belt. So that's all the tool belts all taken up. Lovely job. Uh, and basically what that means is that they'll be able to carry the toolboxes around with them, uh, carry tools around with them, and uh, they will be slightly quicker at um, getting the stuff that needs them to get them done. 
Um, you'll see like obviously some of these are you know specialist things to fix they will have the little arrow on them like this one here someone with a tool belt would get this fixed a lot quicker uh, than the person who is doing it that's essentially what they what they are and um, you know I don't have all my members of staff with a special thing like that um, I think you probably could get it to that point but um, because we're still uh, because we're still growing the uh, aquarium I've decided not to do it so loads of our animals have grown there feeding um, fixing level six fixing that's pretty decent that uh, let's get rid of that so I believe our crab is now fully grown in here yep at the back you'll see um, that's quite a cool that's quite a cool tank that one I do look, really like that one I like the way it looks and uh, the starfish the crabs hoping we'll be able to get some more stuff to add uh, to that our regal tangs are here so we will definitely get those um, put in an aquarium shortly um, the lobster it's a bully can't go with crustaceans of a certain size um, can't be housed with other lobsters that's the one I was looking at thinking that might be quite cool but I'm gonna get the leopard shark because that's gonna go in here hopefully um, I think it'll be a great addition to that aquarium so uh, yeah that's what I want to do so yeah this uh, this is now fully grown um, hoping uh, yeah, animal animals one to seven. Oh my god, this is this is risky now because they've got they've got big and these haven't. Do these grow? Yes, they do because I think they have literally just grown then, haven't they? The wrasse. There we go. The wrasse have just got to full size. Surgeon fish have just got to full size. Um, okay, lovely job. Uh, cichlids let's get rid of those guys and then Davina uh, let's train you up on the feeding lovely old job we do need a bit more filtration now for this tank or oh, water quality I should say but that doesn't surprise me um, so I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna add in a better uh, protein skimmer for that tank that will make more sense to do that um, this person's fixing even though they've got a feeding stick it's all gone a bit pear shaped as this game as this save it must be said I think I'm going to have to do another one of those things where uh, between episodes I take a look at everything because it has got a bit out of hand and a bit of a mess and it's because the aquarium has just got so so large but uh, yeah we were going to put our regal tans in here so let's find uh, those guys so we've we've got all these we've got all these that's something I need to do again I need to go for all the species make sure we've got them all uh, yep yeah, our regal tan so they're an active swimmer so they require a tank with at least 48 so let's check the size of this tank 30 ah they're not gonna be able to go in there well that is a shame I really wanted them to go in with uh, yeah, I really wanted them to go in there with uh, with them. That's 48. So that might actually be a nice tank for them to go in, actually. Um, okay, they don't really have any... Um, what's that armor? It has an effective size of 16. Okay, cool. Um, all right, let's put... Let's put... Um, Let's put two in there, and then we've literally got three spikes left um, in there. We are, need to sort the filtration out a little bit uh, for the aquarium. Um, this is going to be a pain trying to sort that out, though, isn't it? Because this uh, walkway... Right, I've got to pause this a minute to try and work out how I'm going to do this. Uh... Hmm. Okay, this is a bit of a nightmare situation. Right, we could bring this wall. We could bring this wall down a bit, and then tuck these away and move this over. 
think that really is the only way I'm gonna be able to do it so that's actually in line right let's uh, have a little rejig very very quickly oh it sorted itself out now it must have just been they need no, need no it hasn't sorted itself out they just disappeared um, right we do need to do this then so put that there put that there um, move that over one I know we're going to need to move this okay um, just need to what is it we need to do water quality okay well that's that sorts that out But we do need to move. Um, we need to move those two bits now. What a pain! Could they go somewhere else though? That is that is the question. Because they're just cleaning. They're cleaning stuff. Um, they probably could be moved um, out of here. And over here, it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, that's that. We just need to get some more plants in there, just to um, just to make this a bit more sufficient. Uh, should I just stick with what I've got? I think that might be the wisest thing to do, you know, for now. So, yeah, we'll just do that. And then uh, this purple food, we're not going to have bloody, we're not going to have any space to put that in either, are we? Um, unless we move that door, can we move that there? Yeah, it will still reach. Right, we'll move that door then. Move the door to there. We'll put that across there like that. We can delete that piece and then. Uh, oh, we still can't fit it in. Wow, what's an absolute pain this has turned into. Um. Okay, coffee machine done. Do the nitro reactor next. Uh. Oh, they've been and got the krill from somewhere else. Not sure where they got it from, but um, we might not necessarily need one in here. We could probably put it there. It's not the greatest placement, but we can put it there because they can get around this side to the uh, what's the name? So yeah, let's just put that there. Oh, that was that right pain in the backside. But yep, we got that going. Um, so that's a big thing that we need to sort out. Um, could we do this more efficiently? So you get forty and um, forty. So that's uh, 80 so we probably could be a bit more efficient here if we think about it um, I'm gonna pause this while I do it so let's delete that and delete that let's move that there so is it that one and that one and that one and then if we get this There we go. Nice job. Nice job. Sorted that problem out as well. Um, yeah, problem. It's going to be a problem solving episode, I think, um, by the looks of things. So Preston's leveled up. Let's just keep on doing the ones that they are strongest at. 
Um, I know this convid cichlid thing is a little annoying that they're eating all of the young. Um, some of you might not like that, but um, it is just one of those things. And at the minute, we're trying to concentrate on doing other bits and bobs. So this shark is nearly with us, uh, and I think that's going to go in here. Um, the big thing that I really want to do today's episode, if I can, is um, is I want to try and make things look nice. I want to try and redo a lot of the tanks, actually. Um, leopard shark is with us. Uh, so now the leopard shark's done, I think I will... I'm going to get the lobster next. Um, this is being fixed. Which is good to see. And so, yeah, let's uh, let's get the shark, shall we? And we've also oh, we've already got ball huh? So, crustaceans is the big thing you need to be careful of. They need to have curved edge on their tank. Now, this tank, I'm not sure has that. Yeah, it does. That's good. That is good. So it needs that. Um, 180. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, it's big enough. I just needed to do a lot of double checking there. But Leopard Shark is in, ladies and gents. That's pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Um, so we do need to sort out the... Uh, we do need to sort out the water quality um, for that, so um, let's just go here. Something, we've got this one we can research, and then we've got this one. This is the big thing I think we're going to start needing, is this huge... Uh, protein skimmer and double mega filter kind of thing um, but the trouble is you need someone to be highly skilled to fix it which is a little bit of a pain but um, yeah I think that's sort of going to be where we're heading to next because w uh, water quality is becoming a real a real thing I've noticed as we as we uh, move along now we're having to have a lot of sort of filters for each setup basically um, right so um, we've got that there, but we don't have, so we've got the supplement, haven't we, but we haven't got the herring. Where is our nearest herring deposit? Uh, I think I might have to extend this further, which we can do. She's off to get some herring, I guarantee, guarantee it. But yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna have to, uh, yeah, definitely gonna have to extend... Extend this. And put that there, and then... Um, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we can put the herring there then. Nice! Uh, duh, duh, duh. There we go. She's obviously maybe gone and got some. The water quality is still not good enough. Are you joking? Two protein skimmers, a huge filter, heaters, and it's still still not quite there. Blimey. Um, I, I don't really know. I don't really know how to get around that, to be honest. Uh. We don't have the mega filter yet. That might be the thing to do, is get the mega filter. And then... What if... Right, what if... No, see the protein skimmer is actually better than that. Which does make me think though the mega filter would take this up to the level we need it to. Uh, 
If I was to move this back a bit, I'd be able to get another protein skimmer on it. So if I did that, and then I did that in there, but I'd need to move this whole unit there. Yes, it reaches. That's basically all I needed it to do, is reach. And then we put that protein skimmer there. The Right, that's good. Nice. I just needed to achieve the water quality, basically. Um, but now we've done that, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, it's becoming another one of those episodes, unfortunately. Um, more upgrades. Let's just keep going on the thing that they're all strongest at first. I think that kind of makes sense. The blue grouper is fully grown now. Um, so let's take a look at the blue grouper in a moment. Let's get that mega filter going. But yeah, look at the uh, look at that beautiful. Uh, that beautiful animal in there. It's becoming quite a nice looking uh, aquarium, that one, because of the colours. And I've taken the time as well to put all of these information things. Um, I just find, well, during these episodes, you know, obviously, I, we build, I talk to you guys as I, as I build away, and we, we are essentially doing it together, but I do lose track of what I'm doing sometimes. I'm going to put to a, a couple of toilets um, back here, I think. I think that's a, that's a good spot from there. Um, and people are after toilets um, in this section. We have that coffee machine as well, don't we? Yeah, I'm going to put the coffee machine um, down here. Um, put a bin in there. And we'll put one on the other side. Nice, nice, nice. But yep, that would be the uh, the first coffee machine we've got in the uh, in the aquarium. And it's a nice little place for it. Um, it's pretty cool. That shark is pretty cool, if you ask me. Uh, someone did ask me to do more of this. Um, so they could see the animals a bit more close up. Uh, I do need to remember to do this a bit more. Uh, yeah, like you can zoom right in, and I, I keep forgetting that you can do that. Uh, let me take you over to this tank as well, so you can see these animals. Looking pretty cool. And the lobster has just finished. Um... I'm not going to do the stingray yet. I really honestly feel like we need a huge aquarium for that stingray. It's going to get to 40 in size, which is absolutely massive. It's the same as can be said for this catfish here. They're going to get huge. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to hold on. Dislikes light. And then we've got a lump sucker. That's a cold water spot. Species. I'm going to go with the other box fish because we've got we've got a few box fish actually, and uh, that might be able to go in with the box fish that we've already got. Where are they? I think all the box fish are in. Are they in this one? No, we've got puffers and lion fish in there. Where are the box fish? I know we've got them. Oh, they're in here. We've got some box fish in there. So yeah, it might be a cool, uh, a cool aquarium for them to go in. Yeah, look at that. Bit of disco going on in there with our coral. Looking really nice. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's getting there, isn't it, ladies and gents? It really, really is. As uh, Our staff are levelling up like no tomorrow at the moment. Um, get rid of all this stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go through the uh, fish again. I'm going to make sure uh, that we've got the majority of the stuff that we've researched and whatnot. Um, it does look as though we've got a lot of the fish in the aquarium now. Um, yep, all these. The only thing we haven't got is the lobster. All the coals. So the only the only uh, salt water is the lobster. 
I'm actually thinking um, I know where I want to put the lobster. Uh, if it's big enough. I don't know if the tank's... No, the tank isn't big enough. Of course not. I wanted to put the lobster in there. On its own. Um, but you know what? We've got a nice bit of space here. Maybe we could build a bigger aquarium. Maybe to go in here. So... I've got to think about filtration, obviously. Um, that's cold. If I was going to do it, it needed to be a cold water tank if I was going to put it there, though, didn't it? Hmm. Still probably could, though. Two tanks. Two tanks. Um, one. Ah. One. That's going to be way too far away, though. Hmm. Annoying. We could put something here. Maybe. Put something over here with a lobster in it. Potentially, that might link up. Let me. Let me. Uh, let me test this, shall I? Basic gets to eighteen. How big is the lobster again? Just need to check this. Uh, uh, gets to 16 okay and these can go as big as 18 well what if we go with um does look a bit much doesn't it looks a bit silly there if anything we could have done with a few over here which we still could do. We could put the filtration over there. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, if we went with one there and another one next to it, I think that might look quite cool, actually. We don't necessarily have to do two lobster tanks. We can do we can do other stuff, obviously. Um, I, knew, I knew I was going to do that. Uh, okay, cool. Mega filter's done. Let's do the uh, large double then. Let's get rid of that. And let's unlock all of that space there. Um, let's just pause this a second. Let's take that out. Take that wall to there. And that bit to there. It's obviously all backstage. But it gives people an, it gives people a reason to come round here because obviously we're we're having this piece of wall here for a reason. We want people to be forced through that. So yeah, it kind of gives people a reason to come round this way. I'm going to put some benches in my here actually. Um, let's put a bench there and a bench there. And what we can also do down here is we can go with a science. Oh, I hate the fact that. Things are not central. Really don't like it when things don't go central. Well, let's put a science then to there. And then I know I don't think you can have ecology and science on the same tank, but you can put them next to the tanks and it appears as though they're like that. So we just link it to there. Like so. Okie dokie. That's quite good. Quite like that. The way this little area is all coming together. Um, so let's grab our uh, let's grab our lobster. So it starts at 5, gets to 16. So it, it, this is going to be more than enough room. It's going to look an absolute beast in here once it's fully grown. So it needs... Um, oh, it's cold water. Oh, that is that is annoying. Because it really would have worked over here. With, what with that being chilled. But yeah, that is what it is. It is what it is. We'll, uh, this might have to be cold water stuff as well then. Um, what I'm actually thinking, that crab there, starfish one to four, uh, so when it's small, starfish one to two, uh, we could do crabs and starfish, and with some anemones, maybe, with one anemone, I think that might be a nice touch, I know we've already got them, but it might be cool to just do a tank that's dedicated to them, so I think that is... The direction I'm going to go in. Uh, we'll go with one crab because they get 
bigger, didn't they? Yeah, it gets to nine, so we've got to think about this. So what size is this tank? 18, so that's going to take up half the tank. That gets to 14. Okay, we're not going to do that then. Um, not going to do that then. What about a small species of fish that doesn't get big that yeah, needs to be in colder water maybe? Do we have anything like that yet? I bet we've got to research it. Um, do you know what? I think I'll just go with the crab. I'll go with two species of crab maybe. Do they take up? Because so these, these don't take up room. Like, or, yeah, okay, that's what we do then. We'll just do two crabs. They will fill the tank once they're fully grown. Won't they? Yep, they will. And then we've got those anemones in here. So, let's put one there and one there like that I don't know if I'll put them in this one because we've got to put a cave in here so let's do this cave it's 11 8 3 so this this one will be sufficient let's put that cave there like so um, we could put the enemy in there actually I would make the remaining an enemy one there and then last one could go go there like that right so we need lights 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 bang bang nice and then yeah we just need to sell the filtration um, I'm gonna put a door I'm gonna have all of the food and stuff for these guys back here so it's quite close. So let's put the door in first. I'm going to put the door right over to the side. So let's get the filters done. But yeah, I'm I'm really uh I'm actually I'm actually quite liking this here. This is a bit different. I didn't didn't think I was going to be doing this in today's episode, but um yeah, it's nice. It's like something a bit different, isn't it? Like a little dedicated area to some crustaceans. Um chiller so that small chiller should be enough decent and then we just need to get out the thresh on um, maybe two of these okay one of those is good enough well that is interesting that's very interesting to know that um, it clearly works different doesn't it so, um, so what do we need? We need plankton, we need uh, supplement, we need mussels, and then we need crab. Right, that's a bit, that's a bit scary, isn't it? Considering there's a crab next to it. Um, first things first, run the wall there so that the staff don't go walking up here for no reason at all. Um, and then let's do the food situation. So we needed to put in crab um, we needed to put in uh, mussels um, supplement and what was the other one plankton I always pick the wrong thing I don't know if anyone's noticed that but yeah I always always pick the wrong thing and then if we go to our zones uh, zone 7 I'm gonna put all of this in this zone as well just to keep all that covered and that there is a done ladies and gents nice nice little addition that to this section um uses up that space nice i think as well but yes it's coming together really nicely actually i'm gonna just do all of these as uh musts because they're new animals and they will need sorting out I might add a little bit more to this, like some rocks or something in the bottom. Um, just to add a bit more detail, I think. We'll just add... 
we'll add a bit of uh, we'll add a bit of live rock I think to that aquarium just to add a little something and there we go those tanks have all been sorted out lovely lovely job and uh, things are moving along nicely I know I was going to do one of those talking things down here weren't I but I've gone a different direction um, um, hopefully someone's going to do the supplement in a minute they did all the feeding but they haven't done the supplement which is a bit weird It is a bit weird, if you're asking me. Oh, here we go. So I went and got a supplement from somewhere else. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to call that an episode, I think. But we ain't done any theming, have we? I wanted to do loads of theming. Haven't done any of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. If I see that, if I see convict cichlid, I just don't even bother looking at it now. You've probably all noticed that. Um, let's get these guys leveling up. Bullhuss has fully grown. Let's take a look at that then. That's going to be pretty cool, I think, to look at. Boxfish is researched. Nice. So it can't go in with... Ah, can't go in with stony coral, starfish, or crustacean. That's interesting. Uh, dislikes uh, other fish that eat cockles. Oh, these are going to be one of those. They're going to be a bit of a pain. We're going to save them for next episode then, I think. Um, what do we get next? This is a warm tank, isn't it? This one here. So none of that. None of these fish here really, it really matters. I might get the red tail catfish because I think that's going to be an interesting addition into the freshwater part of the aquarium. That, as we know, is up here. Um, I think that's going to be a really interesting addition. But yeah, this is uh, this is coming along nicely. It really, really is. Um, what I'm planning on doing, by the way, guys, this is obviously like a sandbox challenge. Or, um, you know, we, we've got money. We are setting ourselves uh, a challenge as we, uh, as we, you know, try and do this. We're trying to obviously have the aquarium run, earn money, do the research, all that good thing. But I am planning on doing another series of this uh, where we just do unlimited money, unlock everything, and we build a really aesthetically pleasing aquarium. Um, I might even do some research and have a read up on some aquariums that are sort of out there in the world and uh, build something close to that. I, I really do like this aquarium. I think it works really, really nice. Um, but, you know, uh, I think because we unlock stuff and we are conscious of wanting to get everything in that we forget to do stuff sometimes and I think a big thing is stuff like theming uh, for instance like I am going to theme two tanks before we leave because I've, I've been saying it haven't I the last two or three episodes I've said you know we're going to start adding some design to our tanks and I just haven't done it so these are all the designs that you can get basically um, and yeah I, I feel like I might go with a shipwreck design on here I think that looks quite nice on that one. And I might do the same on this as well. Um, what other designs have we got? Harbour? What's Harbour look like? No, I don't like I don't really like that one for that tank. So we've got Shipwreck Tropical uh, Pacific Roll. Quite nice. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Shipwreck one on that tank looks looks pretty nice but yeah you can do all the walls and stuff as well so you can get all wood paneling in uh, you can change the floor to wood as well so I think that's what from next episode that's something we're gonna we're gonna start doing I think uh, we'll work our way around so maybe in the comment section uh, let me know what you think would look good in what area um, and uh, yeah and then we can we can do it together basically um, but the leopard shark is uh, has grown to full size as well. So let's delete that. Let's have a look and see how big the leopard shark is. Yeah, it's quite large. Quite a large shark in there now. Pretty cool. This this tank will look so good when we get it all decorated and filled up. And uh, yeah, over here, um, that shark is quite large. I do think that's going to have to go into a bigger aquarium at a later date. But for now, it's okay. Um, in there, but yeah, I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that an episode, uh, ladies and gents. 
and like I say next time we'll really try to concentrate on um, the bigger stuff like um, like theming certain areas and stuff like that but we got a few more tanks in a few more bigger species and uh, you know we're rocking and rolling basically but uh, if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button my friends this is a channel where gaming is for everyone we're going to be having a bit of everything on here uh, for people drop me a like if you've enjoyed the episode and if you visit the description box on this um, video you will find great stuff like my discord my socials um, and how to stay up to date basically and if you come and get involved over on the discord um, you will not regret it we have a lot of fun over there we chit chat about all sorts of things and what we been doing and if you want to support the channel and help me make this whole youtube thing uh, uh, a real full-time reality then you can visit my patreon that's in the description box below as well and uh, you can support me a small amount of money should you wish but my friends i'm done and dusted as a research on the large double filter comes through uh, i will see you next time enjoy the rest of your day and i'll speak to you real, real soon